the wake of the shocking news of two cancer diagnoses within the royal family, the Duke is allegedly preparing a moving return to the UK next month. It is said that the Duke of Sussex is keen to see the Prince of Wales on his visit to a service commemorating a decade of the Invictus Games. This follows the devastating announcement that the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are both fighting cancer. Since the Sussexes stepped down from their royal duties in 2020, they have made Montecito, California, their home. While the Duke has been more frugal with his travels home over the last four years, he has been forced to spend more time in Britain. Due to his father's and sister-in-law's health issues, after hearing the news of the King's health, the Duke had a quick 30-minute chat with the King during his January visit to the UK. So my family and my life in California is as it is, the Duke said in an interview with Good Morning America following his January trip, hinting to potential future visits. I have other vacations scheduled, according to him, that would take me through the UK or back to the UK. So you know, I'll stop in and see my family as much as I can. Since the Sussex's six-part Netflix series, their interview with Oprah Winfrey, and the publication of the Duke's explosive memoir, Spare, broke tensions within the royal family, have been at an all-time high. We have already discussed how the split between the Duke, the Duchess, and the rest of the firm was obvious before the couple chose to withdraw from royal duties. This was borne up in a book that came out last year, that said the Duke's father, the King, had infuriated him once by implying he may eventually stop providing financially for the Duchess. In his book Our King, Robert Jobson examines the deteriorating relationships between the Duke and other important royal family members. The King was allegedly taken aback by the depth of hate shown in the book, which reveals a widening chasm between the Duke of Sussex and his brother. Another disturbing incident that made the Duke of Sussex furious is detailed in Jobson's story. The Duke of Sussex intended to tell his father, the king, of his intentions to marry the Duchess of Sussex during a pre-wedding meeting that included the two princes and the king. But the Prince of Wales had already revealed all. The Prince of Wales cautioned the Duke of Sussex, asking, are you sure, Harold, as he was about to tell the king. The true bombshell occurred when the king told his younger son that he may struggle to meet the Duchess of Sussex's financial needs in the future, due to his obligations to Camilla, the Prince of Wales, Catherine, and their children. The king allegedly said he couldn't afford to pay for the Duchess of Sussex in the future. Supposedly, the Duke of Sussex was infuriated at this news. The Duke of Sussex was already going through a rough patch emotionally, and he felt even worse when he began to experience increasing levels of perceived slights. A whirlwind affair. According to the Duke of Sussex's belief in Mr. Jobson's book, his brother the Prince of Wales, disapproved of his then fiance the Duchess. In addition, the Duchess had the impression that Catherine was standoffish during their first encounters. The Sussexes' ties to the royal family were already at an all-time low, when these horrific disclosures broke. After the Queen passed away, the Sussexes revealed their experiences as royal servants in a Netflix documentary they created. The Duke of Sussex then published his incendiary memoir Spare, in which he revealed some shocking details about the royal family. Among the other shocking tales uncovered in Mr. Jobson's book, is the one about Catherine, who discovered that her Windsor stroll after the Queen's death was one of the hardest things she'd ever had to do. According to the Prince of Wales and the Sussexes, the ill feeling between the elder royal couples reportedly made the Princess of Wales' brief rendezvous uncomfortable, according to the book. The event occurred outside Windsor Castle two days subsequent to the Queen's death. However, the book claims that the Prince of Wales' suggestion of the United Walk was nothing more than an illusion meant to demonstrate unity. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more of the same.